All right, welcome to the next video. Uh, what I'm going to do is create our first chart. So I'm going to add a new worksheet here. I'm going to click on the plus sign. I'm going to double click the worksheet tab and name that revenue map. All right, so what we're going to do is insert a pivot table. So I'm going to choose insert pivot table and notice that since we have our source data named, I can type in source underscore data, click on OK, and now we get our pivot table fields on the right side. So what I'm going to do is kind of map this revenue as a function of the state. Okay, So I'm going to drag my state field into the columns tab. Notice I get my Arizona, California, Nevada, Oregon, and the grand total. And then let's go ahead and drag revenue into the values tab here. And I get the sum of revenue per state. Okay. So this is nice. I'm going to go ahead and close this field, uh, this tab. Let's get go ahead and get rid of the grand total column. So what, how do we do that? What we do is we go to, well, you click anywhere within the pivot table. Click on design at the top right. And you're going to choose grand totals off for rows and columns. Perfect. Now that we have our data here, right, we need to create a map. So I'm going to create a revenue map based on a state. Okay. Now, Excel has a nice uh, chart type, which is a map chart type, right, based on big maps. Uh, so what I can do is go ahead. There's a little workaround here, right? So you can select your states and the revenues. You can right click and copy that and then go to any cell below and paste it, right? So I'm going to go ahead and paste that. Now what I'm going to do is select or highlight the states here and the values, the revenue. Click on insert, click on maps, choose the icon here and notice a nice little map shows up. Okay, so I'm going to place it here. Now what I'm going to do is a little bit of trick so that way uh, you see how this is static data, right? But if my source data changes, the map won't reflect that, right? So what I'm going to do is go ahead and right click my map, choose select data, click on series one, edit. I'm going to rename that to revenue map. And what I'm going to do is delete my series values. Click on this little icon here, a selector, choose my, uh, actual revenues, click on enter, click on OK. So everything stays the same. And then for my uh, axes labels, I'm going to choose the state names. So I'm going to click on edit. I'm going to get rid of the default. Click the selector, choose my inside my pivot table, not the one down here, but inside my pivot table, select the states there, click on enter, click on OK. And finally click on OK. Now our map right, is tied to the pivot table. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and delete this data. You can leave it there if you want, or you can delete it here. Okay. Perfect. So we have our revenue map here. What I'm going to do is get rid of the chart title. Okay. So click on chart title, delete that. And notice here at the bottom right, it says powered by Bing. Right. So Bing uh, is a product of Microsoft, right? You can use it for uh, geolocation, geosearch, right? Uh, any sort of data is tied to location, coordinates, latitude, longitude, or maps. Perfect. So notice uh, it has a range here, my minimum to maximum revenue broken down by state. Okay. Uh, if you want, you can go ahead and uh, format the data series. Uh, now what's nice is you can choose a map area. You can say show only the regions of data, right? So notice it'll only zoom in to states that have data. I'm going to leave it on automatic. So it shows the whole United States uh, with the states that have some sort of revenue breakdown. Okay. All right. Uh, now, if you want the chart design at the top, I'm going to choose this little, uh, the third one here. So notice I have a nice little chart design. Uh, or you can choose uh, this one here, up to you. Again, this is all up to you. Uh, let's just say I choose the default, right? Uh, again, I got rid of that chart title. And here's my map, right? So we're done with the revenue map. Now what you can do is click on the chart. You can insert a slicer, okay? All right, so what I'm gonna do is uh, insert a slicer. 
Okay. Now I don't have a connection here, right? But what I can do is uh, click on the states in my pivot table and insert a slicer. And notice I have the option to choose state. So I'm going to check off state, click on OK. And notice I get a nice little slicer here, slicer, right? What that means is uh, I can, for example, if I only want to see the California revenue, it'll show me California revenue and the value here on the map. You might get this little icon here with the eye. All right, uh, it's okay. It's just an informational uh, setting here. You can click on X, that'll go away, All right? Now notice that you can slice through your data and filter, for example, Nevada and California. So it shows up on the map. Or I can hold a control key and select all the states and I get the full map of the United States plus the states that have revenue, okay? States that have revenue. All right, so that's our revenue map. And that's it for this chart. Again, remember, we're going to break down all of our charts and then put into a nice dashboard. And then uh, you'll see it'll be interactive with these slicers. Okay. I'll see you in the next video. Hey guys, if you found the video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. See you next time.